Welcome back to the Black Parade, episode... Mission 5, sorry, not episode, episode... I don't know what number. Mission 5, The Brand. I'm down here to... Oh, I think he got suspicious to Crayman Central. Ooh, that's... Drifting Fog. Let's test something. I think that's supposed to be a, a death pet, right? Yeah. Oh, oh I mean, kind of? I was thinking it would be like, um... Lawnmower, and it's uh, fog over the streets. Which was just like to hide the fact that the streets were a... Instant death zone. Oh, right, our cream man friend is wandering back and forth. I could have waited a little and not... and not railed him up. I see another water crystal there. Oh. Let's try that again. That wasn't my plan. Right, we'll grab that water crystal, then we'll grab this one. Alright. Now what? Can we open that? No, but we can grab the coins. I guess that will do. <sighs> Hume. <sighs> Please try and mantle the thing when I'm pressing the mantle key. <sighs> there we are. Weirdly flat from here. <sighs> ah. Somebody came down here and, uh. unsuccessfully. So. That was very silly. You should be ashamed of yourselves. That was uh, worthy of Thief 2014 or a jump scare like that. Oh, it's amusing. It's very silly. It is amusing. I wonder if that's it. Was there anything up these pipes? No, probably not. Oh shit, I think he saw me. Well, he's not going to know where I've gone. Right, we can go north or east. Well, I don't think east is going to be successful. No. no. He's still around up there. I do want to see what's in the water at the bottom here. I, mean, I guess I can safely do that. Well, it's not water. Moss. I think the zombie saw the crayman. man. I wonder if they can fight each other if the crayman man walks to the right spot. That would be funny. I don't actually know which would win. Because normally you say the zombie would win because it can't die, huh? but... Huh? But... <sighs> Crayman has longer reach. So it could just effectively win 
like knocking down the zombie and the zombie might not stand up again. Oh no. Hello, what's going on down there? It's up with that zombie's arms, that's for sure. If I drop down there, can I get back up? I can probably mantle over that way. Is this a door? It looks suspicious to me. Yeah. I guess my instincts are wrong. Are these plague victims? Or are they all zombies? They kind of feel zombie-like. Is that a navigable pipe? That looks like a navigable pipe. Where's zombies? Another pipe down there. This is any further east. I guess we're kind of under here. I don't know. Let's see where it goes. Very dark. Objective complete. Find a way past the barricades. Oh, this is an this is an awesome view. This is just brilliant. I feel like I might have my thumbnail for the whole... for the entire uh, campaign. Maybe let's just try a different angle. Which side do I want the text on? Probably the left. We'll just get a couple of possible views here. Well, all these wooden beams are not much help when you can't get a rope arrow, or can't use your bow while you're swimming. You've got to be able to brace your feet. Everybody knows that. Uh, not just, not just your upper body. Well, I feel like I probably missed some loot in the town, especially since I didn't explore the barricade at all. Well, I suppose I'm not going to bother with that. We have we have stuff to do. That, this view here is reminding me very heavily of uh, some illustrations by I think uh, yeah. Might be mixing him up with someone else's. Two. Artists that use names to get confused, and they've got, very, they've got quite different styles, but they're similar in my head. Um, how many of these do I have? Two more. Do I want to put another one in just yet? Oh, we can always come back here and buy more. Okay, we're not. We're not under any uh, serious pressure right now. Oh, I wanted that to be on the end. This is not. This is going to be a fail mantle for sure. I forgot that the arrow uh, extends back from the the rope extends back from the arrow. So I'm going to do that, do that again. All right, let's try and get. Well, I guess we'll stick it on the side. It's easier to mantle when it's a, uh... I mean, it's, it's a little narrow, so mantling this way is a little more fiddly. <sighs> that was weird. Because you got to do the whole weird step back thing again, that is just so awkward. 
So south there is going back to the main parts of the town, or maybe not. Alright, let's go in this window here, because it's presenting itself. right there. I hear two zombies. I'm just trying to be a little quiet with this one. This must be the industrial tenements or something. It's definitely industrial. Hello. <sighs> Are you all right there, mate? Just getting some evening air. Yeah, nothing. See. Nothing at all. It's not the clip clipping of your of your food. No no, that would be silly. Here. Seems like they can. Seems like they actually are trying to. Well, there's the manor house that we need to get to, so. to do? I do. I'm going to explore up here. Just chained off. Ah, oh, and this just gets us onto the... onto the wall of the manhouse. Well, there's a... Uh... This looks like a house of bad dreams. I better be careful. Uh, I mean, you're right, it does kind of look like the Shellbridge Cradle. Similar architectural style. Are those blowing blue wisps? I don't know, but there's a lot of them. I'm not sure I want to know just yet. We're not going there yet. Oh, God. Was, I thought that was solid. Well, it's was not, not a deadly mistake, but... Uh, so this reminds me an awful lot of... Oh God, what mission was it? Also set in the... Well, I don't know, set old quarter. Oh, 20th anniversary ones, I think. Can't remember the name. I think it was, uh, I don't know who it was by. I finally found that crazed crone from Kinnapok Street. Kinepok Street. They say she's as old as the old quarter, and judging by her wrinkled face, I wouldn't dare say the contrary. Anyway, she's one of the only people truly capable of seeing the future. For a large sum of money, of course. I drop a bag full of gold on the table and ask her, should I prepare my caravan and travel to Caradin now, or should I wait? Will the weather allow me to reach the town safely? She then leans over a pile of hard-eaten old meat with flies swarming around. 
puts her skeletal fingers in it, drinks a glass of builder knows what, and smirks, showing her rotten black teeth. Leaving an innocent man in your basement is no good for you. Venificus will be wet enough to bloat cadavers like a fruit that's too ripe. If you want to flee the city, do it now or the next pluvior, as it will be dry as my old throat. But know that your conscience shall follow you and that everyone pays the price for murder in the end. Well... Guess she knew what was going on. Where am I here? This is going west. Bushes and trees everywhere. Collapsed for rubble. I told you to leave me alone! Which part of that didn't you understand? Can I do this? I can. Wasn't sure, because <sighs> objects are often uh, a little uncertain for. Uh, Attachment. Hello. Now we're going south. Oil Mika Street. Street should not have an E on the end. Ever. I mean, I guess you can spell however you want. You're the one in charge of making the street signs. Almost expected to see little eyes looking out there, like uh, in Into the Odd. Well, what happened to you? I guess you're a guard. Same thing happened to you as happened to most of the people who lived here once upon a time. That was more, is that more wood up there? All this exploration is going to leave me uh, totally lost. This is one thing I love about Thief is the arrows, the bow is accurate enough to... Uh, <sighs> you can make a shot like that on a tiny target and hit it reliably. So everybody I've ever seen play this game gets to be pretty, pretty good shot with a bow and arrow. Which is just, I don't know. Not doing any aim assist, it's just predictable. Oh, that's our friend. Why is the barrack of carrots stuffed in its nose? What a mystery we shall never understand. Finally found some time to write down my adventures. The life of the dastardly adventurer of Dennis Hatton Bus needs to be chronicled. I had just managed to make the nocturne offsprings of the trickster go away when the loathable Quinquivir Lords unanimously decided to increase the tithe on Opium Fourfold. How am I going to sleep in peace now? With rum? Just like sailors? Anyhow, I have it better than the Signori. His health has been steadily degrading ever since that banquet. We managed to capture the Cagnazzi's cook, thinking he poisoned the food. But after a bit it became blindingly obvious the poor bloke didn't know a thing and that we would have to serve a scapegoat in case the Cagnazzi decided to look for blood. The Signori finally killed after a week coughing up his lungs. He was a stern and cruel man, but at least the sleeping quarters in his palace did not have too much mildew and the food wasn't too bad. Rest in peace. I'm off to my brothers in the city. It was good meeting Andori again. He hasn't changed one bit. He still stinks like a dead barrack, but he's still as sharp as ever, and he still complains about my pride. As we were drinking our weight in ale at the local tavern, he told me he was on a job as big as the Builder's Hammer. An expedition into the sealed section. As far as I understand, the current landlord doesn't give a damn about the baronial edict that commands all landlords to brick up their windows on the side of the barricades. My brother sees in this the perfect occasion to venture there and bring back treasures. Why not? First expedition! The sealed section isn't as impressive by day, as long as we avoid venturing too deep. We found a massive manor, but no point of entry. Andori thinks he saw shadows move from beyond the windows, but I didn't see a thing. The funny thing is that all the vegetation in the vicinity is completely dead. We managed to bring back three statuettes, a gold necklace, twelve ivory glasses, and a weird book we found in a secluded room. Probably some magic stuff. Tossed it in the canal. The innkeeper at the cellar door wasted no time telling me all about the local gossip for a price. 
The local apothecary apparently transforms his workshop into a brothel after nightfall. Some kid seemingly got snatched in an air shaft. A bloke fell from a local church, but his body was never found. And no mention of any items coming from the sealed section found on the undermarket. Excellent. Well, this had to happen sooner or later. We've been pretty discreet with our operations, but they finally brought jealousy. That old ladder will have to support our fat asses one last time. After that, we're off to Arkha to disappear for a while. You dropped your, uh... <sighs> An interesting book in the canal, did you? Ah, oh, this is this place I saw that I wondered how I could get up to. And, and concluded I would not be able to. <gasps> there might be some way up, but uh, I don't know what it is. <gasps> Where's the canal? Oh, I guess we were swimming in the canal earlier. How do I get down from here safely? Is there a ledge there? There's a ledge there. It's a tiny <coughs> one. And it's not quite good enough, but I guess it'll do. Come on. There we are. Full HP once again. Full HP for a fool. I never looked up there. Just a busted pipe. Uh, uh, turns around to search behind him. Is this the canal again? No. That's the barricade right there. So we have not been here. I guess that works. <laughs> uh, zombie with a sword would be, uh, of interest, especially if he knows how to use it. <sighs> oh, hello. <sighs> no, this is not going to get me up anywhere. There will be a way down. From the barricade. Not up. Okay, let's get back up there. of a noise and not actually round. So I couldn't round that corner there, it's a lot of it. Oh, well. Are you just standing there? Well, that's inconvenient for me. A big clutch tower here. So lost already. Lost among the forsaken. That was the name of it. What's the name of the mission? This reminds me of. I again feel quite lost among the forsaken. Oh, 
Hello, what's up here? What do I do without repairs? I'll not be able to destroy this banner, that's for sure. Hello there. Uh, head and arms chopped off with the cleaver there. I guess that's some kind of stop you becoming a zombie tactic. Seems to have worked. Stop looking at me. Now the problem is I want to be over there where he is. Without him murdering me because I'm stuck in a barrel. Uh, not a good thing I'd saved. Alright. Don't think you can follow me in here. Nothing up there in the attic. Hello, this have I been in that room? I don't think I have. Have I been in there? Where which way am I facing? That's north. I'm just gonna throw a rope there so I have a way to escape in a hurry if I need it. up here. Oh, there's a... I wonder if that door opens. Probably not, right? <laughs> Thanks for the fail, Mantle. game sometimes. Alright. Nope. Rah. One hit point. Oh. Fine, I'll swallow one hit point. Get on the dang rope. On the... Oh, don't get on the rope, then. Up here, can I get down safely? Stein's point to know on both accounts, honestly. Uh, well, actually, getting down safely might be easier. His head, not, not behind him or in front of him. There we go. Oh, he didn't even see me properly. I want to go in there. God, you guys make so much noise, do you know that? Nice to be able to push them off the edge, actually, and have them get stuck below, but it's unreliable. Have I been here? Oh, yes, I have been here. Right? 
Yeah, this broken sword, man. Huh? I came here from up there, I guess. Well, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? 1500 loots, the harp, all seven Hawtry family portraits, and get out of Hawtry Manor back where you started. I mean, Hawtry Manor is really where we need to be. And loot wise, we're doing pretty well already, right? 887 eight, out of 1500. Well, I mean, that's acceptable. It's not super, super amazing. So, that's the window there. Huh? Can I climb? <sighs> There's a roof, but I don't think I can climb on it. I'm not standing on this light lamppost properly because it's. <laughs> You're still hearing me, 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 guy. That's funny. There we are. <coughs> no, Hume. I won't take that. You should have mantled that damn roof. Maybe it's not mantleable. Did I come from up there? Oh, <sighs> man, look at facing away from me. <sighs> Get on top of it properly because it's angled and it's all weird. Which makes it all weird to jump from. I mean, it's silly to mantle these in the first place, so we'll say that. Ah! Alright, never mind, never mind. I'm wasting hit points, I don't have that many to waste. I think we should just probably get a move on and head towards the manor, right? Because. I mean, there's looting of this district to be done, but... Alright, this is a dead end. I'm going to be back at the barricade now. Been here? Did not ring a bell. Looks unfamiliar and it's a heck of a lot quieter, I suppose. It's not entirely zombie free, but then is anywhere ever truly zombie free? Again, that beam looks useful as a way of descent, but not as a way of ascent. Doesn't go anywhere. This on the other hand seems to. <sighs> That's very nice. I could break down boards, but it's not going to do anything. Oh, that's an excellent ruined sofa. That's beautiful. Also ruin this banner. Poor luck. <sighs> Not what I wanted to do. I'll just take that. You don't look like you're needing it anymore. Let's have some grapes. No HP from grapes. Carrots. Nope. Cheese. Nope. We're out of food, we're out of food. Alright, fine. You know what? I don't need this dang hot tip. What was it about? Oh yeah, fucking hell. You, you, you can keep this. I want to find the canal again, that's what I wanted to do. We're looking for a book at the bottom of the canal, right? Some kind of magic book. Where was the canal? We saw the canal, we came to the canal. Maybe it's further east? How did I get into this? I don't even remember how I got into this area. No, oh, but well, we can keep going up, right? This window's there, we should be able to gain access to. I imagine this mission without new mantles would be absolutely impossible. You would never mantle anything. Lots of bush growing out of the window there. I 
Take care. He is spiders. As long as they come sneaking up behind me while I'm lockpicking, lock picking, we should be uh, able to stay on reasonably good terms. Another smoke bomb. Smoke bomb is any good against zombies? I guess. I have no idea. Oh, it's just a little one. No, it is a big one too. Sorted. Oh, and another rope arrow. Let's take this. <sighs> Hang on, have I been here? This looks familiar. <sighs> no. I guess there's another ladder kind of like that. Worthless candlestick, I mean... People mostly leave the worthless stuff behind, but not entirely. Am I hearing more voices? Uh, Maybe it's just just some more moaning. Eastern side. Okay, well, we found the canal. That's the good news. Come out on the eastern side of the manor here. That window is slightly suspicious, is it not? Yeah, very suspicious. Speaking of which, leaning here, just look at the texture on the sky. It's just like the factory there going back and forth. Oh, dark engine never change. Oh, she comes out here. She is. She's serious about hunting for me. What is it with the lady zombies having a much stronger sense of attention and memory than uh, than the blokes? Well, someone will have to do a study of sexual dimorphism in zombies in terms of uh, performance at various intellectual tasks and see if they can come up with a workable theory. All right, well, I want to jump back in the canal for now, so let's do it. I did want to go right to the bottom and look for a book. So that's a quick way to the bottom. And presumably you'll be nearer the west end, because they would have been... Let's get some air. We're coming out the west end. So that's the bridge leading to the manor that's still smashed up there. All right, girl, this place is so awesome. Just this canal, if I had built just this canal and the buildings over, looking over it, I would be really happy. I, I don't know why I can't build like this. Oh, there's a pipe. But that's the pipe I came, got here from, right? This is where I came in. So I didn't see any sign of a book in the canal. So either... We were lying about it. Or it doesn't exist. Or it was, you know, it just fell into the muck and rotted away. Or it magically saved itself from the water being a magic book and all. So many options, none of which work for me. Out of which helped me obtain my prize of a magic book that should be worth money, right? 
Is that another window? I don't think so. No. And why am I so bad aiming at ropes? I'm getting it all wrong today. So often. Oh, this is going to be a... No. That could have been a problematic mantle because of the edge slope. There we go. Well, let's get up there. Forty minutes in, and I guess it's time. I've been down there, right? Let's just double check. I haven't been across these chains. Like suspiciously go to shutters. They're closed. Okay, because that's of course. Barricade side? No, there's still, there's still a definitely sealed section. Oh yeah, that's right, I was bashing this open. And for no purpose. It's never gonna open. What is that there? Oh, just a zombie, right? In fact, that's the zombie we encountered earlier. So what is it with this place? Well, we found a way in. We've got a harp, we've got seven portraits and a bunch of loot. How much loot do we have? Well, we only need another 500 and we're good. Should be easy. Are there any other zombies roaming the uh, rounds? Yeah, they're right. All the trees are dead. That's strange. <sighs> What's the deal with these? Nothing. Just there to be spooky. Oh, there's another sword zombie. Guess he wants guard at this place. Now he's permanently sticking out his sword as if to say, on guard. We've got to find a way in first, right? I don't think the front doors are going to be viable. Is this door maybe? Okay, we've got a locked back door. Oh. Are you disappearing in front of my face? Now that's... Probably more dark engine bug than um, spooky. I wonder what sort of textures they use. They're very much not thief textures, but also very good for this whole ruins thing they're doing. Pipes, not not wooden beams. What was the map? We've got uh, two floors marked, right? Is it only two floors to this place? No, nah, that's three floors at least. I, mean, I guess maybe that's attic. There's dormer windows. It might not. Maybe it doesn't count as a floor. It might be a floor in the map, but we don't have a complete map. On this side, we've got another, another zombie. Ah. After all, what is a spooky manor house without a... Uh, what do you, what do we call it? I've even forgotten them. What's the dang term for this? Uh, I don't know, 
it's not coming to mind for some reason. I mean, I can check the front doors. Yeah, they're not going to work. Back door it is, then. Back door it is. Or... Spooky basement. Obviously, we're going to start with the spooky basement. Give it a choice of the back door or the cellar. Is it really a choice at all? Especially when we can't get back out again. family portraits <clears throat> family looked like that when they were alive that seems unlikely to me so maybe the artist was taking a little creative liberty maybe the artist was predicting their demise maybe that's the spooky bit I'm gonna go slowly. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter to make noise that the uh, zombies will hear. Strange. Something's weird with that door. It's got smoke on it and a red ring. And it will not open. So, how do we get up here? Because. <sighs> unless that's wood, it doesn't look like wood. Oh, it is. Okay. Really does not look like wood. Looks like plaster. And I concluded it had to be because whatever, whatever, you know, what else would you do? You know what? I'm going to leave that rope there. And if we go down there again, or if we come up here again, I'd be happy to have it. So, Valentino Hector Hotry. Interesting. I was told these portraits were painted when these people were alive. Yeah, that was just, it was just Halloween. Well, that's the wrong way to open that door. We've got a gong. It's all smashed up. That's cool. What's this? A knife? That's one heck of a knife. Oh, that's new. The... Where did that whisper come from? And can it go oh, instead of lighting me up with this? I see. Yes, it's going to go through the house in inconvenient fashion. Who's keeping these candles lit? I'm a little suspicious. Place does not seem as abandoned as its reputation should suggest. Okay, where are we? Let's be systematic here. We came in through the cellar here. So we came in here, right? And then we've got this is the was it dining room or kitchen? I don't know. Uh, hole in floor. So, we're looking into this room now. Through this door. Dead spider? I guess I got in a fight with the zombies. Usually it only ends one way.
so um, I'm trying to keep the noise down. I know you just want to rest in peace eternally. And I know you're already having trouble doing with that. I hate. I suffer from insomnia myself. I sympathize with you zombies. This is such a tiny mansion, actually. Like. Very small. Not spooky music at all. Which room is that? This room, alright, fair enough. Let's check it out. So many places here have noisy floors there. Oh, these chairs are so dusty. Well, another one. So, Alexander Theodore Guillaume Hawtrey. Honestly, it looks like the same guy. It's a spitting image. Chest, huh? It's a music box. Without me, that precious harp is beyond your reach. Come to me. Uh, What's that voice? You could maybe be a little more precise in your directions. None shall pass to the harm but by my guidance. I will take you there. Yeah, but how? Okay, well, uh, maybe getting the harp is going to be a little problematic. Let's keep exploring this floor of the house. I'm just going to have to wait till he decides to let us know more about the harp situation. <sighs> oh, there's another portrait that we need. You need only allow me to guide you, and the harp will be yours. Yeah, but you're not doing any guiding. Uh, kind of the problem here. So like I'm willing for you to do some guiding, but you're kind of being mysterious instead. Uh, you need to have some have some trouble with uh I don't know. Understanding what guidance means. Tutorial problems. So Maximilian Johannes Gustav Hortry. I'll get those out. So we could go upstairs. Check out the main stairway here. Oh, what's this door? Ah, that's the back door. Well, we might as well make that available. We've got another zombie. Waiting to wake up. We got another. I am the beacon to the treasure you seek. Yeah, but come to me. I don't know where you want me to go. Yeah, 
be rather mysterious about this whole business. Putting on the dramatic voice with some reverb for extra spookiness. I'm not impressed. I don't think Hume is impressed either. Well, this is the kitchen. So wait, that should be the cellar. Collapsed library. Yeah, you said that before. Is this the same door? Right, this is the door on the other side. That door is weird as well. It's unnaturally cold for some reason. And it won't budge. Well, you yeah, know, something evil went down here, obviously. Alright, map. Okay, so that's, that's the cellar. So we want to go into these rooms now. Them for shinies. You know, I'm not really here for the harp. I mean, that's that's what my client wants. I'm, f I'm you know, filling my pockets freelance as we go, so. I am the beacon to the treasure you seek. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come to me. We're getting pretty close to our loot requirements anyway, so that's the good news. What just went splat? There was a spooky noise and a splat and I... Was it just a sound? Rotting barracks head above the fireplaces. Nice touch that they, uh, even the mounted barrack. This place is grimy and filthy. None shall pass to the heart, but by my guidance. Okay, can I, I have rope this stuff? Because we've, we've been all over this floor, right? Yes. So that's the kitchen. So this is dining. Hole in floor and spooky door in cellar. And up here, I guess, for the library. This is the music room. I guess that'll do in terms of annotations. No, I couldn't have put it in a worse place for obstructed by rubble. Okay, that's really good. That's this is really good. Look at this. I'm staring at a ceiling. Then we have a void. Then we have. <coughs> The floor above, which we they all went flat again. Oh, careful! Oh, I can't even see where this floor. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Okay, we definitely have another... So you know what? You need only allow me to guide you and the harm. 
Yeah, 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 you know. You could try and be a little bit less repetitive about this. Let me see where I can see floor here. It's very hard to see. Let alone to navigate to here. Oh, that'd be good access. There's a floor above. Not where I want to be. Not right now. Sorry, mate. Okay, so we've got a bunch of rooms here. This room, hang on, is this room not accessible? Not accessible, okay. It might be accessible from the floor below. Sephal Victor Harvey Hawtrey. South from here is okay. Goes around to a sort of gallery. I want to go northeast first. This is also a collapsed floor. Absolutely yes. Hello. Did I go in the floor room below? I guess I must have, right? Oh, okay. Another spooky door. I mean, I better hope that the harp isn't in. I'm behind one of the spooky doors. Right here, to be honest. So that way, I, mean, I do want to. I do want to get out there. These collapsed and half burnt, half collapsed railings are really good too. This is very good looking for a horrible messed up ruin. I've got, I will get so far as to say so far this is easily the best looking mission in the campaign. What's the deal, though? Surely there's a catch, right? You're not going to tell me there's not a catch. There's quiet floor! I mean, it's a balcony again, but... It's beautiful. Oh, we can't get in here. Okay. So this is kind of a dead end, although we should be overlooking the stairs here? <sighs> no, but I can jump over there, I think. <sighs> None shall pass into the harm but by my guidance. Well, that's just... I will take you there. So it's sealed up. What is going on there? <sighs> I 
Is that like the silly ghost face from scary movie? That's what it looks like, and it looks very unscary. Um. Okay, I wanted to go this way because I wanted to see what was at the top of the stairs. So let's just risk alerting our friend here. Right, that would need. Uh, no loot, no portraits. Okay. You need only allow me to guide you. All right. And the harp will be yours. I don't know about you, but maybe something weird is going on in this room, huh? We'll check it out in a minute. We'll probably be noting that we've got attic access in some of these rooms as well. So this is a bedroom. Access to attic. And here we have Spoopy. Ghosts hate it when you when you call them Spoopy. It makes them sound uh I'm serious. Why aren't you? Go over there. None shall pass to the harm, but by my guidance. Stay just distracted for long enough. bottle that I can't use. I'll, uh... I think someone has not cleaned the bathtub in a while. You need only allow me to guide you, and the harp will be yours. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Rains? Maybe, uh... Maybe the baby face hugger eggs. Okay, also got, uh... uh the brain bass. The brain mushroom. Obviously. Access to attic as well. Okay. I must say, having a really bright, very white light here is actually spookier than the green, than the, than the effects lights. It's super white. It's, it's really weird because in Thief 2 it's very odd to have white light, although in... I don't know if they're using coloured lights here. Thief 1 didn't have coloured lights, but... Uh... Well, do you think it's time to go say hello? You know what, I, think... I am the beacon to the treasure you seek. Okay. Come to me. You know what? I think you're really pushy and impatient now, whatever you are. I think you're just going to have to wait until the next episode. Maybe then I will think about 